Hi everyone, I am Andrea Guaracino, a PhD student from University of Rome Tor Vergata. In this talk, I'm going to present to you COVID-19 PubSeq, a public sequence resource for SARS-CoV-2 virus sequences, where data, metadata, and analysis tools live together publicly and freely. Existing data repositories allow free sharing data, but don't enforce strict quality control on the submitted data and its metadata, and don't add value in terms of running additional analysis. Moreover, some of the databases have a restricted license, which prevents data from being used in online web services and on the fly competition, hindering research. Our idea was to create a repository that had a low barrier to entry for uploading and analyzing sequence data, all in one place, without imposing any restriction on their utilization. For this aim, we created COVID-19 PubSeq. This resource is designed to abide by fair data principles. Data are published with Creative Commons attribution licenses and structured metadata are validated against other ontologies. The workflows are written in common workflow language using best practices. They are standard, shareable, reproducible, and importantly, everyone can add new workflows to offer new functionalities. COVID-19 PubSeq is currently running on Arvados, a cloud open source platform for managing, processing, and sharing scientific and biomedical data. The data uploader can be used from a command line or a web interface without installing any software. The metadata are in the form of GMO files and are strictly validated against a schema. Data are validated for being in a supported data format and for not being duplicated entries in the resource. Importantly, the available workflows are executed after the upload in order to provide up-to-date results rapidly and in standardized data formats. To date, these outputs are already used by two teams. The Graph Genome Browser Consortium uses the JSON outputs as inputs for Pantograph, an interactive visualization of the SARS-CoV-2 pangenome. As pangenome, we refer to the entire set of genomic elements in a given species or clade. They naturally express genome rearrangements, so Pantograph allows researchers to browse the entire genetic diversity in a SARS-CoV-2 population that would otherwise be underestimated. Each time someone uploads a valid sample on COVID-19 PubSeq, this input is immediately combined with all the already uploaded SARS-CoV-2 genomes in order to generate an up-to-date pangenome as input for Pantograph. Moreover, the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics has included COVID-19 PubSeq data in its knowledge base. Indeed, the uploaded metadata and the outputs are transformed into RDF databases. This means that it's possible to query this data using Sparkle and ontologies. For example, this query tells us when the reported sample was submitted and that is originate from the USA and is a biospecimen collected from the back of the throat by its webbing. COVID-19 PubSeq is the result of a community effort, developers but also submitters. There are several reasons why you should upload your raw data to this resource. Make your data available to the widest audience possible quickly and without restrictions is really important for the scientific research in particular during this COVID-19 pandemic. Indeed, we recommend uploading to ABI and NCBI resources too, using our data conversion tool. In this way, you only enter data once, making it public to multiple resources and getting the results of the analysis from the workflows available on COVID-19 PubSeq. Finally, I want to thank all the teams involved in this project for their hard work, and of course, the audience for listening. Thank you very much.